night was that a bunch of spoopy movies? Some of them were honestly pretty good. <laughs> and pretty scary at the same time. Were you, were you scared? Some of them, yeah. <laughs> You just you just start getting used to them at this point. Thanks to you, at least. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the Charming Analysis Podcast. I'm Mari. I'm Jay. And today we're going to be doing another franchise video for y'all. Today we're going to be talking about the VHS franchise. Crazy. This was one that Jay picked out, and it was a lo- sort of a last minute one for us to pick out. Yeah. But... We wanted to do something else besides Scream because I thought it would be fair. But yeah, so we're mainly doing the main stuff in the franchise. If you guys are interested it, in... Look, if there's any more that we miss, we'll get to them someday, any day. Um, I don't know when, but we'll get to them. But yeah, we mainly did the main ones. If there's any spinoffs or anything, and if you guys like this podcast, let us know and we'll do one on the spinoffs. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so this series had, for the main ones at least, we, we're not including spinoffs in this one. So yeah, we're going to talk about basically all the ones that aren't um, <sighs> spinoffs. It is late. Uh, it's almost 2 o'clock. Anyway, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning and we are tired. <laughs> It's okay. So, let's talk about the first VHS. Which came out when? In 2001? No, 2000... Sorry, what am I doing? 2012. 2012? Yeah. All right. So, why don't you explain what the first one was about? Well, it's not really about anything. It's just a series... All of these are a series of vignettes from different horror directors. Yeah, so basically each so one... So it's all an anthology story that doesn't really connect. To, they don't really connect together. They just are there, you know? Yeah. So basically, um, so yeah, we got at least five videos. Like five movies that we're going to talk about. I'm trying to remember. Um, you got to help me a little bit on yeah. like the first one at least. Because so, it was just a bunch of... Uh, Let's cut up people. Base Okay, so basically the first one came out in 2012 and from what I'm looking up it was it had pretty mixed reviews. Let's do Let us do just simple body horror. Um and nothing else. I and let's also be objectifying the women. <laughs> yeah, the, the first one was honest. Like, this is the funny thing. Normally with sequels, they normally get worse over time. But I'm not going to lie. This, is, this, is, this franchise is one of those exceptions where the more you get into it, the better they actually come out. Which I'm actually surprised at. Yeah. That was the first thing I was surprised at. Because I'm not going to lie. The only stuff from the first one that I actually found enjoyable was literally the Halloween part near the end of the movie. That one was that one and the vampire one that was at the beginning honestly are the best ones in the whole movie. Like Those I, they are and then the rest are just like But we're going to talk about each one individually. Like stalking like around that point. Kind of like shock video. <sighs> Excuse us with the yawning. But yeah, since this is an anthology... Kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like shock video type thing. Yeah. The first one kind of focused more on true crime stuff more than anything else. Yeah. With just a little bit of stabby stabby here and there or like supernatural shit. It was like a mix between supernatural and true crime, which is not a bad thing, but like... For a series that's about more about found footage, you would think they would do, like, more, I guess, like, Blair Witch Project kind of shit. It kind of was. I think that's what they were trying to implement. But I don't, I, I feel like their every, execution. Every, um, every, every movie short was doing is that. doing, like, clearly this was inspired by Blair Witch. Yeah. A but I feel bit, like but... the way that the first one went about it. I don't, like, don't forget, this was also the very first one that they did. Mm -hmm. So, 
so yeah, I'm not I'm not surprised that um they ended it ended up getting mixed reviews because I'm not gonna lie, I barely remembered much from the the first movie. The only stuff honestly that was good, like I mentioned before, was the Halloween segment where basically they go to like an abandoned house and then apparently saving a girl from getting sacrificed. <laughs> That that honestly was probably the best one from that movie. Um, and it was also the most well done compared to everything else. All the other ones were just kind of weird. Like, all of them were just like, like, oh, we're going across the country. Oh, I don't like the person I'm traveling with. Stabby, stabby. That's essentially what, like, half of them were. But the first movie kind of made it to where it was this group of people that found the tapes. So that was kind of where the premise kind of came from with it. Mm-hmm. And that part was fine. I didn't mind that part. It's just they could have put different videos that they found compared to what they did put. Because I don't mind the idea of them going to like like the group of friends going to a place and then oh there's creepy shit here. And they watch a bunch of videos and then the creepy shit ends up following them. You know what I mean? That part of the premise I don't mind. It's just the execution of the first one I feel like is was a hit or miss. I'm not going to lie. I I think for me, this one was probably the weakest of the, of the five movies, in my opinion. Because the only good ones was literally the two I mentioned. Those were the, literally the only good ones. All the other ones, you could easily make a fucking YouTube video on. Mm-hmm. And I'm not discrediting the people who created these. This is just our opinion and stuff. But... This one, in my opinion, it was not that good. And that's the funny thing, because this is literally the first one in the franchise. And normally the first one's most typically the best thing Mm -hmm. when it comes to franchises like this. But I'm surprised that this one honestly was the lowest, in my opinion. What do you think? Give me your opinion on the first one. It's not the lowest to me. To me, it is the lowest. It is not the lowest to me. Uh, But it is the least... Memorable. Interesting. Yeah. I was... Yeah, it is the least interesting. Because literally when we were watching it, I was like, why do I have a feeling we're going to watch all these and Jay's going to be bored out of his mind? And... I know. Happy that didn't happen. Um, We'll get to that, though. But surprisingly, this one was honestly the worst one, in my opinion, even though it was the first one that they did, Mm -hmm. which I'm surprised at. So, do you have anything else to really say about the first one? Because I really got nothing else. Um, two cool little shorts for their first film. The rest of it, I don't, I, I, I don't remember or care about. In the garbage. Yeah, like in my opinion, if you're gonna do like an anthology series, you gotta have like, depending on how many you put in said anthology series. This, I think, had a total of, like, four to six different shorts. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do that, at least make four out of the six good (laughs) instead of two out of the six. Because that, in my opinion, is not a good thing. Especially if that was the starting off point for your your franchise. Yeah. But sometimes, and, like, especially in this case, sometimes the sequels can kind of save a franchise, which... This is one of the few exceptions. Most of the time, the first one's the best, and then the sequels suck. But this was what this is one of those rare circumstances where the sequels are actually better than the first one. So, honestly, for the first one, I would give it minus the two that we got. Because if I didn't have the two that were really good in it, I honestly would have gave it a two out of ten. Like, while the found footage aspect was good, I feel like they could have done better stories. But since it had the two that were actually really good, I am bumping it up to a 4 out of 10. So my final one is a 4 out of 10 for the first one. I feel like it's kind of a very sad start, which, understandable, which it came with mixed reviews. But they did do, like, but they did do a good job with it, like, semi-execution they just kind of had to work a little bit of the kinks out of it what do you think 
What what do you give it out of ten? I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. As well. It tried. <laughs> they at least tried. And for a first film, I feel like they could have done better. For a first film, most people don't try. So, you know. What did you even... I don't know. For most, uh, for a first film, most people don't try. So I can commend it on that. It was a starter. Let's just say. Yeah. It was a starter one. But at least they had a base route to kind of work its way up. Which... I feel like when, when, when with it's one of those franchises where it gets better with each sequel, I think that I feel like that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. You got a baseline to start off. Be like, okay, this is what we should do going forward, and this is what we should not go doing going forward. Yeah, which I do think is a good thing. So, anyway, on to the next one. The next one is VHS two. Great title. Yeah. Basically, um. This one came out in 2013. This was the movie that I'm actually surprised was as good as it was. I actually thought, oh, these movies are going to be shit. This is one of the better ones, honestly. Like, this was, like, one of the better ones. Yeah, I could could say that um, it definitely improved. Um, Like, from a year later, mm -hmm. it improved, like, tenfold. I think the... Um, cause what came? It came, this, what was the one? So what I remember was the zombie one. Like the zombie one and, and the, the cult one. Cult one. A lot of these were really good, but those two I think stood out the most. Just oh, like. The effects were really fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. They upped their effects. Uh, from effects like a year their, later, like, which I'll get to in a second. And I was like, oh my God, this is so much better. I will say this though. Um. They did a similar premise to the first one, except it wasn't a group of friends this time. It was a couple that actually go to a house to investigate something. Mm-hmm. And they end up finding out that the kid, or I'm, I'm just going to call him a kid because I don't really know what how old he is, mm-hmm. basically left a bunch of tapes. And you guys got to kind of figure out how the fuck he died, in yeah. a sense, or where the heck he went. Because, yeah, that's pretty much the premise of this Outside of the fact that we're watching a bunch of tapes. Yep. So, the zombie one, I honestly thought, that one and the cult one are honestly the best ones. The zombie one was basically about this biker guy who was going on a trip and calling his girlfriend. He ends up getting attacked by zombies. Then he starts going after another group, like two hikers that try to save him. They end up getting attacked. And then a bunch of other people end up getting attacked at, like, a birthday party, the the original guy that got attacked realizes, oh, fuck, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> His girlfriend ends up leaving him, like, a voice message, and because of that, he's like, oh, fuck, I really don't want to, like, do this. I feel like what I'm doing is wrong kind of thing. And basically, he... And then he commits burger meat. Yeah, we're just going to call it that to avoid this to avoid saying what it actually happened. He commits burger meat. Yeah. He basically <clears throat> yum yum in my tongue. <laughs> yeah, so to to make sure we don't say what actually happened, but yeah, yeah, not not good. Not, not good, good stuff. Not good. But execution of the zombie one was but I guess if that same thing happened to Marty, they would be a pile of leaves. Just <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Dear. But yeah, the zombie one had the best special effects out of a lot of these, to be completely honest. It was probably one of the best ones in the franchise, in my yeah, opinion. I like the, the cult one a lot. I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna get to that in a second. Cause honestly, this was one of the best ones um in the entire thing. Mm-hmm. In my opinion. Like that one was probably one of the best ones and the best executed. The effects were great. The actual premise was good. It was a very simple premise, but it was really good. And then next up, the cult one. I was not expecting it to go the way it did. But that one, I was actually not expecting that to be that good. But it was so fucking good. Like, the premise was great. The effects were great. They got straight to the point. But they also kind of did a little thing like... If you guys remember Hardcore Henry, they kind of did like a first person POV. Most of these do. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, like for the fight scenes, like 
This gave like hardcore Henry kind of shit with hardcore the fight scene. Henry vibes. Yeah, for this, at least the fight scenes. Um, honestly, that was one of the best things about that. I felt so bad for the protagonists in this because genuinely, like, a lot of them were just trying to do their fucking job. And then the cult leader was basically, like, being a fucking little shit Mm -hmm. over everything. So that kind of threw me for a loop. But, yeah, that one in the, like, this one, just as, in my opinion, is just as good as the zombie one, if not a little bit better. They did fantastic on this, and I'm surprised that this one was, like, the second to last one. And then the first one, not the first one, the second one was also really good. Yeah. So this one we had a lot more favorites, but those two probably stood out the most. What do you think? I think those did, too. What else was was it? Because, I mean, it was good. It was just, like... Because it feels like, oh, we only like two of them. But I think the rest of the others were, were pretty good. Yeah, but not as... Mem- like, not- like, I'm trying to think. What was the other ones? I don't remember off the top of my head right now. They were <laughs> like, good, but not as memorable. I was like, yeah, because the, the other ones in the first one that weren't those other two were bad. Yeah, but a lot of um, these were really good. A lot of these, like... I'm trying to remember what other ones happened in this one. I'm trying to remember, too, and I'm just like... But those two were the only ones that really stood out. But I will say this, though. I did like the creepy aspects that they did when the girlfriend was basically watching the films. You basically see a, um, like, the zombie guy Mm -hmm. in, like, the background a bunch. And then I'm pretty sure the girlfriend dies at the end. Yeah. And then we find out the boyfriend basically did something horrible and he he no longer has a jaw that's all i'll say he no longer has a jaw hamburger meat more hamburger meat but honestly i will say this Mm -hmm. the second one outdid the first one by a mile Mm -hmm. like this one outdid the first one so well yeah it's not even a competition (laughs) it's not a competition this one improved on the idea and the premise like tenfold Mm -hmm. they saw their mission and fucking completed it they did it and they did it and they even went above and beyond in this one you get a sticker (laughs) yeah definitely a really good one yes if i do say so myself so this one i will actually give an eight out of Mm ten this definitely improved on the concept of the first one while making it better it was technically a success for film critics but Apparently, from what I'm looking up, it didn't do well in the box office, which I find interesting. No wonder. I mean, they should have probably just sold it on digital. They probably should have just. They probably it probably could have. I'm sure it was like these are were like. Um, I'm sure it gained popularity more at home. Like, I'm sure it gained more pop. Like you know the whole concept of VHS. I'm sure it gained more popularity because. Of its brand. Yeah. And that's why, like... Because it didn't matter whether or not you liked it or hated it. It's going to be popular because you you have a title named VHS. And it's an anthology about of horror. Of course it's going to get fucking popular and get a million sequels. Even if it didn't do... Even if it did, it doesn't do good, you know? Yeah. But, yeah, what do you give this one out of ten? Um... Whew. I give it a... Six. You give it a six? I yeah. thought you would give it a little higher than that. Nah. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that one came out in 2013. The third installment is called VHS Viral. I think mm. this came out 2014, right? Yes. This came out a year later. I will say this. We had a low starting one, then we got a high starting one, and now we're kind of going back to the low starting again with this one. This sucks. This, I will say this in my opinion. This fucking sucked. You said it sucked I ass. I did not like it. I hated it. Like, I understand the whole viral aspect of the videos and stuff, but I feel like they shouldn't have done a VHS one just about viral videos. They could have done so much better with that premise. You would think, oh, viral videos. That would probably make me a hit. I feel like you would have to execute that nah. so well to make that happen. They apparently... Didn't really execute that. A lot of the execution from this was 
Not that good. So basically the third one doesn't even follow a protagonist from the other two. Like, this one literally follows, like, this guy basically finds out his girlfriend gets kidnapped and he has to literally find a bunch of videos and record a bunch of videos to basically release his girlfriend. I guess. I, I, I'm assuming that's what happened. Sure. This one was really confusing. Like, the actual premise, like, was interesting, but it was confusing. So I will say this. This one is not as good as the first, like, it sucked like the first one, but it's not as bad as it. If I, I had to I rank them not. so far, this one would. I, I can't think of a memorable, like, good one that happened in this Yeah, place. the third one, they really didn't do that good with the, the stories of this. They basically I did. I don't, I don't care. I didn't. There was way too many throwaway well, the, gags. Yeah, well, the. I think the way that they tried to do it, like, they should just stick with the video camera. Stop. Like, no, you can't do this. Di- you can't do this digitally. It breaks yeah. the whole fucking thing. Just do it with a camera. <laughs> yeah, like, literally, they basically did, like, a phone and a camcorder. Camera. I don't care what the kind of, kind of camera. Just do it with a handheld. Do it with a handheld camera. I don't care what it's supposed to be. Just do it with a hand, hand, handheld, and it would be fine. But, no, it had to... Basically made also, it... Also, the stories were dumb. I, I did not like it. Yeah. This one definitely... Stories were a big boo-boo. <laughs> it's definitely worse like the first one, but and... not... But... It's a little bit better than the first one. one did, but it sucked. No one turned into hamburger meat. No one really... Well, people did, but they didn't show it on screen. I'm like... Like, I'll give so, an example. So, basically... So tame. This one compared to the other ones, I think was... This one and the first one, I think, were the so most tame. tame. Which I thought was crazy. This one was definitely the most tame of the th- of the five. It's like, this thing had no budget. Like, literally, it was just guy chasing around people filming shit. Mm-hmm. Finds out that the truck that they ha- they've been filming on the news had a recording of his girlfriend in it. And she basically told him, if you don't upload these videos and be a better person... I'm dead. Mm -hmm. And he uploaded them. And then turns out when he gets out of the van, she's already fucking dead. But you don't even see her fucking death. She literally died off screen. You literally just see what happened to her. Like, and I don't even know what the fuck happened to her, to be honest. She literally had her phone in her mouth. That's literally it. Like, you don't see anything. You just see, oh, be like, oh, she's been dead all along. Okay, from what? What did she do? What? You're just gonna leave this here and what not exactly even explain? What has she been, like, dead from? Like, she wanted to upload a video and then she turned into hamburger meat? Like, what, like, what, what? Like, I understand the, the point. I like, was, they were trying to do something. And then they failed halfway. And then I was like, no, it doesn't work. You fail. They did, they tried to do you something failed. and it failed halfway. You fail because what am I supposed to think? Like this girl turned everyone insane because she did a Snapchat video? <laughs> Essentially. Like, I don't, I don't get it. This is why, uh, it just, it just, it's just, just bad. It just sucked. And I never want to think about it again. <laughs> it's just bad. It's just bad. It's the worst one that I've seen. But yeah, this it's one of the worst horror movies I've ever seen. It's so fucking laughably bad. Which is honestly crazy. Like literally, I for... try not to see bad horror movies. I really, do. I wasn't expecting this one to be this bad. Is like, this is like the worst garbage bin videos. Garbage horror bin videos. The only good one that they had in the third one. Was literally the Mexican demon cult. And I don't even know what that was about. And that was honestly too confusing. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, that was... I'll explain a little bit of this one because you're going to be like, what the fuck? They were zombie. There was literally zombie cult people. And apparently they... The per, like four people that were skateboard dudes go to fucking Mexico, do a bunch of fucking weird shit, end up getting attacked by a fucking cult that just appeared out of nowhere... And just kept fighting them even though they were already dead. So, the actual fighting in it was good. The plot sucked. And you were, I was genuinely confused for 
pretty much the whole thing. Honestly, the third movie, I was just genuinely confused for the whole thing. Like, but that was honestly the most memorable one, even though the execution for it, minus the fight scenes, was sad. It was very, very sad. They could have done sad B. They could have done so much better with this. Like, I don't mind the idea of them doing viral VHS tapes, but I feel like this basically had nothing to do with the franchise. This basically kind of made it like a more modern take on it, which you can't really do that for a VHS. Well, you can. Just make it a fucking just handheld camera on your phone. I don't think you need, you don't need to do anything else. I don't know. I don't think you they, need to do anything They kind else. of fell flat with this premise, and I will say that. This was probably one of the, the worst ones. This one and the first one, I think. Oh, also, I was wondering, like, where are they filming? Like, I don't how know. How are they getting these, like, if this is found footage? What is this? Like, where are they getting camera shots and shit? I don't fucking know. Like, this one was just honestly confusing. Where? I mean, yeah, they do, but I also, like... Fuck you. That's an awful fucking excuse. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I will say this. This one and the first one are honestly the worst of the franchise. I will tell you that right fucking now. These two are the worst in the franchise. And this is just from the main franchise stuff. Because there's technically like... um, There's technically a sixth film mm-hmm. and a seventh, but... I don't think they connect to anything from what I'm looking up. I don't know. Like, I don't know if they're spinoffs or not. If they are, we'll eventually review them. Yeah. But I'll get into that more later near the end of the video. Uh-huh. But anyway. Um, I give the... Oh, my God. I give it a 1 out of 10. Really? Yeah, I didn't. I hated it. Honestly, I will give this a 2 out of 10. It's- even though... The first one had more, like, at least had something memorable about it. The only things I remember from this one was literally the Mexican demon cult, which is a weird fucking sentence to say, and literally just the ending. That was it. And the ending wasn't even that good. So this, in my opinion, despite the fact that the first one at least had something memorable, I feel like this one... Wasn't as bad as the first one, even though I give it a lower rating, but whatever. Anyway, um, now I'm surprised for the fourth and the fifth, though. These I'm actually genuinely surprised at. Yeah. So the fourth one came out in 2022. Several, how many years later was that? Because the last one came out 2014. Eight. Eight years since the last one. Like, that's honestly crazy. This one is... The the fourth one is called VHS 94. So basically, this takes place in 1994. Mm-hmm. Honestly, if you're gonna fucking do these movies, put a year in it. If you put a year in it, it makes it good. Can we agree on that? Sure. Put a year on it, I guess. Um, because this this was honestly really good. For it taking eight years compared to the other one, this did a very good job with it. Can, what? Why are you looking at me like that? You said this one the best ones. Stop it. <laughs> but yeah, so basically this one's about police raiding a cult building that has people that are already dead it's trapped cults. in it. Always cults. I don't know what's with this franchise and cults. They keep putting so many in there. Because they're like, ooh, cults, they'll film stuff and they'll put it online to see which they do but (laughs) this is basically i guess their bread and butter now Mm -hmm. which i find crazy so yeah this one basically they have the police raiding a demon cult building and you get to see how a bunch of the different stuff kind of happened in it even though it's like not really following it but a lot of similar aspects to it Right? Yeah, it, I mean, let's see. Because I'm going to say it outright. This, I really, really fuck. The noises I, your mouth just I made. Re- I really, really fuck with this film a lot. 
and maybe because it is the the individual stories. Um, the only one I didn't really care for was the last one. Which one was that one? The fuck. It was the uh, guys who were going to put a bomb in the building. I hated that one. That one was so bad. Okay. I will say this about this fourth film. This had probably the best stories in it. Minus the last one. The last story fucking sucked. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the good ones. Like yeah. Ratman. What'd you think of Ratman? I was surprised that we actually had a Ratman. I thought, like, I I knew you, you mentioned to me when we were watching. Yeah, I was like, I was like mentioning it to it. And I was like, when is Ratman going to show up? In one of the and I'm like. Because that's the one, that's the one thing that like people talk about. Oh, you got to get to the Ratman short. That one was honestly really good. For the premise and the execution of shit, Mm -hmm. that was so good. Like, I will say this, though. Minus the fact that the rat man looked so ugly. I mean, he's a rat man. But I didn't expect him to to crawl on all fours and have a big-ass fucking head. That's why I like it. And also it was practical, so that was cool still i liked that because it was cool anyway i feel like they could have cgi'd it a little bit i feel like they could have cgi'd it but that's just me don't do that but anyway i want character i want character actors to get jobs damn it i do too i want character actors to get jobs and this is a good thing for me to see i want someone to crawl on all fours and be a rat man i will say this though the execution of this was good spit out Whatever the fuck that was. Black goo acid. That was so gross. That was fun. I loved the... Oh, God. Okay, the effects in the last two ones really, really were like, oh, I live for this. Bathe me in burger meat and blood. Yeah, this... These executed like, I'm it really so shocked. Well. That, you know, I just, I, like, realized, like, you know, the more gore I show you, like, you know, in movies, the less you're desensitized to it. I, I'm starting to get used to it a little bit, which is a good thing. But I will admit, there was some stuff in this one and the fifth one that honestly did surprise me. <laughs> like, I was not expecting that. The Ratman one was genuinely good. Mm-hmm. Is it the best one, I think? From this movie, this is the second best one. I think the first best be. one... Well, the shorts are starting to get longer. Yeah, like... Literally, if it wasn't an anthology, they could have just made separate movies about all these. Yeah. I feel like they could have, like, this one and the fifth one could have basically made movies of all of them. Like, their own separate movies, and I wouldn't even be opposed to it. Yeah, I would have watched them. Me too. Like, honestly, these could be good standalone films. A a lot of these stories in these last two were really good. Yeah. Which I'm surprised, Uh, especially because the other ones sucked. (laughs) Compared to these two. These two are honestly the best ones. So what was the, uh, shit? The one where, like, the cyborg girl, I'm gonna call that one. The camera, camera girl. The camera girl. This one. And Chainsaw Man. <laughs> I don't, that wasn't even a chainsaw. That was a big-ass fucking sword. Scissor Man. Blade Man. Oh, my God. We'll, we'll call it, we'll, let's call the short. <laughs> Bless you. Ugh. Let's call the short camera girl and Blade Man. Just, Even though they have names for the shorts. Yeah, because, but I don't fucking remember them. So, But th- no, there was one before that, wasn't there? Yeah, there was like a, a few before that, but... The Camera Girl one and the Blade Man one are part of the same, like, film. That was honestly the, the best one of the fourth. That was so good. Yeah, that was like something... That would have been a good standalone movie. That would have been a standalone good game. A that horror, too. A horror cyberpunk. Yeah, honestly. like. Also, the CGI in that one was so fucking good for the Blade Man. It's not even funny. Like, they did such a good job. It was. Um, I was kind of a little bit, like, a little... I was kind of a little bit disappointed because I was like, well, you made the woman practical. Why'd you make one practical and the other CGI? I think it's because of the intricate design of it. Maybe, they, but like... They probably did it to kind of like... 
make it work with the budget. I, I could tell. That's the thing. I could tell. And it was, like, kind of distracting a little bit. But, what, the CGI know, or the practical? The CGI on the the guy with the blade hands. Um, That was kind of distracting a little bit. I liked it, though. I thought it was good. I know. They clearly had a guy in a suit, in a, like, in a, like, a CG suit. I think it's also because they had more stuff done to him in this short that they kind of just had to go with the practical for the other th- one. I'm trying to think what other ones were here. I'm also, I will th- say this. Blade Man's design, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Camera Girl's design, also fantastic. I feel like they could have done a little bit more for hers. All they literally did was fix her face and give her like a fucking hand that basically puts weapons on itself. Mm-hmm. Which I think is a good premise. I swear, there was more. There was more, like, shorts that I liked from it. I liked was, it all. Was the Aussie's the Dungeon in that one? Or was no, that... was that the last one? That was in the last one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I have to think. What other ones were in this one? Like, I'm trying you to You have remember. Wikipedia, like, right there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, I'm trying to think, because, but I'm like, wait, what, which one did come from? It's late. I, uh, I, I am a little, a little loopy. And drunk. (laughs) I will say this, though. um, This basically had a lot more... um, What's it called? This basically had a lot more, like... Give me my phone. No. Let's see. Oh, the Holy Hell one. That was in the fourth one. That was basically... um, They were doing a summoning. Two guys end up going into hell no that was in the last one that was in the last one that was in the last one what are you doing You're i'm st- trying to look up the thing oh my goodness you could have just literally been like hey mari can you look this up no but no you apparently take my phone no i take your phone and i and i i take your phone and i inhale it you're weird can can i have my phone back please uh the wake which one was that? Give me the, it's the one bummer. with the lady and the and the tornado and the dead body. Oh, that one. Yeah. That one was also really good. Like, basically, there was a lady that was at a funeral. The guy basically died from, like, some accident. And then as the story continues, you find out that he's still fucking alive, but he's a fucking zombie. And half his face is gone. That's half all I'll say. his face is burger meat. Yeah. So, basically... That one... God, I love the fucking practical effects in this. It was so fucking Yeah, good. they oh did God. such good practical effects. Like, honestly, the... A lot of these were, like, semi-memorable. Like, a lot of them were memorable, but some of them were kind of, like, good, but not as memorable as others. Like, that one I didn't really remember unless you looked it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I will say that, but... It's just so... Hmm. Um... The, but yeah, the best one in this yeah, I would, one. I would, I would definitely like if, well, if people weren't that big into gore, probably not. But I would. Mm, that's some good. That's some good, good, good food. It's some yeah, good. But food I will food. say this: if you are going into this franchise, there is a lot of gore. First yeah. off, there's a lot of gore. It's rated R. The whole series is rated R. So if you guys are going to watch this, you're going to have to be very, very okay with gore and body horror other than that like i don't think y'all are probably going to be enjoyable of this this is kind of more of an acquired taste kind of thing mm-hmm. at least i think of. but i will say this if you add a fucking year to the end of it i feel like that makes it better in my opinion because this one was one of the best ones. And also, from what I'm looking at, this is probably the most positive reviews of the franchise. This, I think, this technically is the best of the franchise. This is the most positively reviewed? Yes. This one. Damn. Which well, I think I is mean, crazy. I, I think it's well-deserved. Definitely. Like, this one definitely deserves all the praise. Yes. They should have just fucking done stuff like this for, the, for their other movies. They should have just done this. Like... Did stuff that happened in, like, 1994 or make the setting 1994. Because that's when VHSs were still around. Like, maybe, maybe they will. Maybe, like, you know, it's not like they aren't doing that. It's just, you know, found footage itself is, like, found footage is a very... You have to go with ones that are, like, good. 
Yeah. Because a lot of them kind of suck. Yeah, this is why I say... That's why I didn't... That's why I hated the fucking third one. And the first one, because... Both of those, they... At least the first one tried. The third one really didn't try. Like, they just kind of went with it. Like, they just kind of tossed a premise out the door. And tossed basically anything on the wall that would stick. But for the fourth one... Honestly, it's a 9 out of 10. The fourth one is a 9 out of 10 for me. It was really good. Honestly, I'll give it one of the... an 8.5 out of 10 because the last one was kind of boring. But um, Minus that. Yeah, but I'll give it like an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, the only reason I'm not going to give it a full 10 out of 10 is literally because of the last short. Because the last short bored the fuck out of me. Oh, I remember one from the fourth one. The, um, when the guy, like, was switching places with the uh, the alternate guy, and apparently he's, like, in a demon universe that literally looks identical to ours. No, that was the third. Oh, that was the third? Yeah. <laughs> that was the third one. That wasn't bad. It was just, like, okay. That was just okay. That was, like, you have a mouse that opens up on your stomach. I've seen that <laughs> plenty of times. Why? Why did they do that? I can never get that out of my head now. You won't get it out of your head when you watch Alien then. Oh, Lord. Anyway, the last one we're going to cover is VHS 99. So here's the thing. From what Jay was looking up... The year I was born. Yes. So from what Jay looked up, first off, I I don't know if... um, I don't know if... The the other two films that we looked at are part of it, or if they were like separate things. So, for the sake of um, we'll just judge them separately. Honey. For the sake of it, we're gonna judge them separately. Um, because I also we couldn't find them, and also, I think VHS. I'll talk about that in a minute. But what the the other two the other two movies that we couldn't find. Okay. Anyway, um. VHS 99 was the last one we saw. And also it's the fifth one in the franchise. This one was also really fucking good. Yeah. So good. They made... They kind of went back to their roots with the first one. But made it better. In some aspects. Some of the stuff that was in the first film... They sucked at. But some of the stories in this one took inspiration from the first one. But they made it a whole lot better. In my opinion. Um, this one basically consisted of this group of, like, this group of, like, teens called Rack. It was literally all their names put together. It's like a band. They basically go to an area where a famous band was at. They basically try to do a performance and stuff where these guys died at. And because they were all messing with each other, they pretty much unleashed the um the dead band mm-hmm. and they possessed their body and possessed their body so yeah that's basically the gist of that one um this one really didn't have like a protagonist to it you're just gay and that's why you liked it there was a lot of gay st- like this gave off such gay vibes it's not even funny but then again this came out in 2023 so this came out like last year so yeah but in the universe it's 1999 i know this is like a few years after the other one canonically in the time but not like actual thing but you know what i mean anyway i honestly really liked this one the last one that they did where they're going to hell where the two guys basically go to hell on accident they basically get out. They end up getting summoned in there. They find a way out. And then they end up getting killed by their own fucking family. Which I find crazy. <laughs> like, wh- why would you do that? Why would you do that? And they probably came back in the wrong bodies. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know one of them came back in the wrong body. I don't know who they came back with in the other one. Mm. So. And then they wrote the fucking demon statement. Yeah, the, the demon that helped them in it. Remember her! Dead. <laughs> like yeah. that was cute. <laughs> yeah, I I actually really liked that, was that one. Cute. Um, the one guy kept complaining. Oh my god, I gotta talk about Ozzy's. Yeah, talk about Ozzy's dungeon. Okay, that. talk about it, honey. 
That was probably I the most back one. in my head which one I like the best. That might be top three. The Ozzy one? I love that one. That might be my favorite one. Out of that was your favorite of the entire thing? Because it's like, okay, game show nostalgia mixed with let's 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 kidnap the, the host the and get revenge and get revenge torture him and then make us take go to that to the studio where our cult lives and you summon a god basically yeah that is insane i loved that the creature was stop motion that i honestly liked like that's one thing i will say about the uh, fifth movie this fifth movie they had stop motion in it, and like honestly, the, it was so good. The family was batshit insane, which I... I'm not surprised. Yeah. Like, I, the, the family was insane. And I love that. I the, just, the mom basically just wanted to avenge her daughter because of all the shit she fucking went through on the game show, and basically her leg got... <sighs> there was a lot of uh, stuff that you were... I was just looking at you, like, I was just like... I was not expecting half of it. I wasn't expecting her leg to be like, <laughs> and the other guy's arm oh, yeah. to be like, oh, and then yeah. the other girl's arm to be like, yeah. that kept happening. The The limbs kept doing wonky shit. Yeah. And, and you were like, like, oh, because I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? My goodness. It was fun, though. It's fun. And the fact, like, oh, I, I want to break my bones like that. No. no I'm just <laughs> Anyway. I'm just like, man, this is just so fucking good. Ah. This one is just as good as the fourth one, in my opinion. And I, they improved on it. Like, they even, they made it better. They made it better than the fourth one. But this one's still pretty good. What? I, I but that, like, the thing is, the Aussie one's the only one I truly, like, really, really loved. Um, you kept saying you like certain ones throughout the whole thing. And then, I do. And then I you like realize they kept ones. getting better. They, they do keep on getting better. It's just, like, it depends for me. Like, the vibe of the whole movie doesn't match that, like, does it just, is it just, like, you know, does each short have their own, like, little, does each short work, basically? Do the vibes work in each short? Like, is it, like, how interesting is the concept and stuff like that? And, like, just depends, you know, for me. Um... And um, I I didn't find it as, like, you know, as impactful or as, like, edge of my seat like I did the fourth one. I think it just had more, the fourth one had more topics that I found more interesting. Like, you know, juicy, juicy interesting, if you will. Yeah, which I get. It had more, like, stuff that, like, I don't know, like, me situations I guess you could say, which I love playing around with in my head. Um, but yeah, it's 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 interesting. I, I I'm interested to see what's gonna be like when if we ever do get to the other movies, how this like if they do if any of them are better or worse or the same, you know. Um, because it's like, damn, I'm kind of interested in looking at like more of these so you're interested in looking at more so yeah so it's rare for me because normally i normally i don't care for franchises you know me i really don't care for franchises i'm more for the franchises but i like to talk about franchises and see like what they do good what they don't do good are they good good after a while do they suck after a while i like talking about franchises because it's kind of interesting to see how a film either is, tanks or goes up i am more forgiving for anthologies or series that are say like 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 episodical i get say. that like that just are just you know let's get a story let's just do it for one season and then let's just get out of the way or let's do it let's do an anthology let's do short films let's do one movie let's do whatever yeah i'll be interested in that you know i will say this though the the one where the kids are basically gawking at the girl kind of took inspiration from the first one but they actually made it a whole lot better because the fucking girl was a medusa like that was like one of the she was a gorgon that was what she was that's what they're called i think but you know what i mean that was honestly like 
the best revenge I think I've ever seen in a short film. One of the best revenges I've ever seen. That was so fucking amazing. Thank you. Um, but yeah, for the fifth one, I would give it... I'd probably give it like a 8.5 out of 10. I still thought it was really good. What I'll give it, it a 7. You give it a 7? Yeah. Okay, so I will say this about um, the other two movies. So apparently there's two more movies in this franchise. There's the sixth film, which is called VHS... 85 Mm -hmm. this also came out in 2023 but i don't know if it premiered like in theaters or if it was just like a limited run kind of thing Mm -hmm. they said they released it on shutter it's probably on shutter yeah it is released on shutter but we couldn't really find it and then they also have one that came out this year called vhs beyond so, unfortunately, and apparently it's also called No Safe Space, so I guess it's in space, apparently, from what the the thing looks like. I guess they're doing it space anthologies space in the Space boys? I don't know. But I will say this. Um, since we did genuinely like doing these, um, I don't know if these last two are technically spinoffs or not, so... Just for the sake of it, we'll consider them as spinoffs. And they also have spinoff films. They have one called Siren, which is basically a continuation from the first film of one of the segments in there. And then they apparently have like video short stories. And they also have a second spinoff called Kids vs. Aliens, which is a continuation of another segment from another from the oh, second. Oh yeah, film. that's the one I also liked. Kids vs. Aliens. Yeah, that was another one. I really so liked. I need more alien horror. So I will say this: life. if we end up doing a part two to this, which we're probably not going to do, maybe until next Halloween spectacular, because we already did all this. Yeah. So if we do end up coming back to this, we will do a separate one on the spinoffs and include the sixth and the seventh movie, because we'll just consider them as spinoffs. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yeah. So yeah, I would def. We are definitely going to be doing the spinoffs. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let us know because I I would not mind doing that. What about you? Same. But yeah. So, what's the okay? We're gonna do a worst to the best of the five movies we saw, and then we'll do like an overall rating. Okay. So in my opinion, the first okay, the third one is probably the worst. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably the worst one. It would be the third one. The first one still sucked, but because at least had stuff that was memorable to it, I'm kind of bumping it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. If it didn't have the two films that I liked in it, I would have literally probably put them at the same place. So because of that, I'm going to put it above the third one. Are you good? Yeah. And then I would put the fifth one, the second, and then the fourth. That's how I would rank it. That's my ranking. What would you rank them from Third, worst to first, best? First, second, fifth, fourth. I think that's the same thing I did. Okay. <laughs> that's actually funny. Because I did I did third, first, sec, fifth, fifth, second, fourth. That's what I did. I put four in front. You put four at the, the top? I put four in the second. Oh, you put four where the second one is? Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, and overall rating... For me, this franchise is kind of... It's a mixed bag. Yeah, like, it's a mixed bag. So far. There's a lot of hits. There's a lot of misses. Not every single film is good. We give credit to the people that actually do these films and get them put into this. But I will say this. I don't think we've had a single movie so far that was completely... Stop touching your hair. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, we haven't had a single film yet that was just all bangers yet, mm-hmm. which I can understand, <laughs> which kind of lowers it a little bit. But then again, we only saw like five of the seven movies because one of the, both of them basically came, the other two came out like one of them came out last year and the other one came out like this year, but we couldn't find them. So we're going to have to. Wait to do those two. Mm-hmm. And basically we'll change our opinion on the main franchise once we do those. But we're probably not going to do it until next year. Because this already took like a week to do. This already took an entire week. 
just to do this one franchise video. So I like doing franchise videos, but we don't do them all the time because we have to sit down and fucking do them, right? Mm -hmm. But we do like doing them though. It's just we have to kind of like space it out a bit, right? But yeah, so <sighs> minus the fact that there's a bunch of hit and miss with this one, I feel like the overall, like for this franchise, it has its highs, it has its lows. I'm going to kind of put it right in the middle because, you know, it's kind of good, kind of bad. I feel like it depends on what you see in an anthology series in this kind of aspect and what you consider a good one or not. Because not everyone's going to like the same ones, which I get. But I feel like you could kind of pick and choose from these. You could probably watch the good ones and then... Oh, it's case say skip the third and then go from there. Yeah, definitely skip the third. Definitely skip the first one. Minus the two ones I mentioned. The first one, I think you can kind of sit through. All the other ones, definitely go watch. Like, the second, fourth, and the fifth, at least go watch those. Because those are honestly the best ones. If you want to find the better ones, those three are the better ones. But... Overall, I would probably give the entire franchise a 7 out of 10. I feel like they could do a lot better. If the 6th and the 7th movies are good, I might raise those up higher. I'll but for a, now, I'm going to give it a 6.5. Wait, not, not a 6.5, I'm going to give it a 7. I'll give it a 6. You give it a 6? Yeah. Do you think that the 6th and 7th will improve? I hope so. Honestly, me too. So yeah, we will eventually come back to the series, but probably not for a while. We're probably not going to do it till next year, honestly, because we kind of need time to kind of digest from this because this literally took like so long. But we will do the spinoffs, definitely. Like we, we're going to have to add the spinoffs to this list because honestly, I think we kind of need it right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the end of the franchise videos that we're doing this year. So we are going to pick some semi-standalone movies to do for the rest of the Halloween Spectacular. We're not, we're not doing anything more than a trilogy. So if it's more than three movies, we ain't doing it. Right, honey? So yeah, we'll be picking those out soon and we'll be getting those to you guys as soon as we can. But anyway, enough of me rambling because Bean is tired and ready to go to bed. But yeah, I'm Mari. I'm Jay. And we're out. See you guys next time. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.